Welcome back to Upper Michigan today, everybody. We've switched gears from talking about Born in the Barn here, where we are joined now by Beach Grove and Blacksmith, a.k.a. Terry Bachlin and Kurt, Kurt Kowalski. Thanks a lot for joining us. Oh, we're so Great happy to be, to be here. here. It's oh, awesome. Yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. So the two of you are a couple, and we you are. play together. What's yep. that experience like? Um, we haven't killed each other yet. <laughs> Good for you. And we're still married, so. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's that is nice. good. That is good. We, we sang a song on our first date, so, we did. you know. We I did. can only imagine music kind of brings you together. Music has that effect on Absolutely. a lot of people. Yeah. Absolutely. To have, share that interest is pretty special. How do you collaborate as bandmates and songwriters? Um, we collaborate more as, like, how do we want to do this? I guess Kurt's a songwriter, and I'm a songwriter, but mm -hmm. we've never really written together. Hmm. Not really. Not really. Okay. I mean, um, I, I add instrumental parts, or I say, I think, well, wouldn't this sound good here? Yeah. So he's I mean, on, she's sort of the, the, you know, the foundation of the songwriting, and then I just sort of add flavor. I suppose. He he has a spice rack, when we do a, like a full mm -hmm. a full big gig, and he's got Tibetan yak bells, and he's Ooh. got clay drums, and he's got all sorts of cool percussion. He's plays fiddle, harmonica, so he's adding. Mm -hmm. The spice. The spice. The <laughs> flair. I love that. The, the spice. spice yeah. Yeah. He's old spice. Uh, old spice. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of the music you're going to be playing for us this morning actually was inspired by Isle Royal. It was. It and was. And came through the Artist in Residency program. Yes. So did you guys do that together? Did, were you over there by yourself? We did. Okay. We did. Okay. Um, we uh, hiked Isle Royal for a week in 2011 and met a ranger who had been a artist in residence. She was a poet. And we chatted with her, and I was like, oh, this sounds like the most amazing thing. Yeah. And at that point, you know, I'm a pretty prolific songwriter. I had written a lot of songs about Lake Superior and the North, the North Woods mm -hmm. and the whole region, which it, it's, I've just always loved. I probably just made a You're big clunking fine. sound. <laughs> um, so I realized that I, I had a, a wealth of... of material that I could say is at the beginning of a suite mm. of music. So I applied um, as a composer and a songwriter because I am a, a, a composer for instrumental music as well mm. and a choral composer. Um, and um, I was in London when Kurt called me and said, you got you in. You got a letter. Oh my you got God. in. So, we spent three weeks on Isle Royal um, oh, in 2013. Oh, this is so something. amazing. How, I mean, it was the, life changing. Yeah, it, it, no yeah, it changed our it. lives. It absolutely yeah. changed in our lives. In what way? Um, we were living in the Mid Atlantic in, in a community in between um, Washington, D.C., and Baltimore, living um, a rat race. It mm. was a rat race life. Mm. We were so utterly changed by our Isle Royal experience that we came home and said, we're gonna we're gonna make a change. We yeah. don't want to live the rest of our life this way. We want to live the rest of our life yeah. that way. Slowed you down. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Gave you perspective. So yeah, yeah we, we made a plan and now we're residents of Marquette. Uh, Amazing. Bought a house in South Marquette. Yeah. Um, I have deep deep roots okay. in, yeah. in the area. Every That's... every grandparent and aunt and uncle and cousin was here. My mom and dad gra graduated from Graverette. Okay, Back cool. In the day. Awesome. So, um, yeah, this was always the home away from home for me. So, And now here you are, here making are. beautiful music, yep. putting on uh, concerts, and, yep. and sharing your passion with we all of us. We do, and we also became very passionate, well, at least I did, about the, uh, the wolves of Isle Royale, ah. which is a very interesting story. Um, that, that that delicate balance between the, the predator and prey yeah. there. Yeah. Did you meet Rolf Peterson and Candy? I did. Aren't they interesting people? They're fascinating. The yeah. entire wolf moose study is yep. fascinating. Yep. Yeah. So um, we spent three weeks on Isle Royale. Uh, they issued us a primitive cabin with no electricity, no mm. running water, oh, an man. outhouse. Perfection. Perfection. And a canoe. <laughs> yeah. And that's what we did. We were there for three weeks, and our job was to be inspired. My biggest fear was, what if I like f get brain freeze and creative <laughs> freeze? And I, and, but it was just, uh, it was a really incredible, Quite the opposite. Really yeah. incredible experience. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, if your biggest woe is, what if I just have a brain freeze? Life's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was amazing. 
All right, well, we'd like to um, hear some of those pieces. Okay. Uh, we have to take a break. Okay. When we come back, we're going to uh, hear one. Uh, is it a piece from Isle Royal inspired by the it trip? It is. Okay. It is. All right, so we'll get into that after this break.